Hi, in this kind of a short video, we're going to see how we can add more and more and even more devices to a Wi-Fi network without causing any issues. Now, some say you just need to add more power. Power! Power! Come on! Power! Power! power. power. I need power. More power. But in reality, it's kind of the opposite. Let me explain. Now I'm going to try to use an example to help you better understand the situation. Here we have a house that is not very big and if I install and use a single access point it can easily provide Wi-Fi coverage for the entire house. In other words the signal strength is minus 70 dBm or stronger everywhere in the house which is good. Now, for the sake of this video and simplicity, let's assume that this access point is capable of handling maximum 40 Wi-Fi devices. In other words, if I connect more than that, it becomes overwhelmed, leading to a negative effect on the Wi-Fi network. It is important to remember that in real world scenarios, the maximum number of devices an access point can handle varies due to several factors. For example, the access point capabilities itself, such as its CPU, RAM, Wi-Fi technology, and so on and so forth. And also the type of connected devices and the kind of applications that they run. So here, let's say if we have 60 devices in the network, they might be able to connect initially due to the good Wi-Fi range. However, the access point would become overwhelmed with the additional load. As a result, the connected devices might experience issues such as slow speed, intermittent connections, or even random disconnections. So if I want to increase the capacity, I can add a second access point. This way I can spread the load across two access points and should resolve the issue, right? Well, it might, but this way there are at least two other issues. First of all, there is a higher chance of co-channel interference because now the signal can travel farther and if it interferes with another Wi-Fi broadcasting on an overlapping channel, it can have a bad impact on both wireless networks. Second, with this setup we might experience a condition called sticky client where the devices might keep connecting to this access point even when they are closer to the other one. This is because they are still receiving a strong signal from the first access point. To fix that I should reduce the transmit power of the access points to limit the coverage area. This technique is called cell sizing and is one of the most common methods for meeting capacity needs. This way if we use the channels wisely and by that I mean use non-overlapping neighboring channels we can eliminate or minimize the co-channel interference. Because obviously when the neighboring channels are non-overlapping they're not gonna interfere with each other. Also now the coverage area is only limited to this place and doesn't extend to the whole neighborhood which is good because it reduces the likelihood of interference with neighbors Wi-Fi. Now if I need to further increase the capacity I can add even more access points and reduce the transmit power even further. In this week's video on Patreon, I'm gonna try to show how I decided that two access points were actually necessary for a medium-sized house in order to meet the required Wi-Fi range and capacity. Spoiler alert, this network actually turned out to be much faster than when I used five access points. If you want to check it out and also support the channel, the link is right there. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the upcoming videos. Thank you again and I will see you next time.